Welcome back to the Daily Vlog, Dr. Dizey here. Thanks for tuning in. Today on the show, we're talking about the five essentials to a long, healthy, and happy life. Of course, because this is a naturopathic practice, we, we practice prevention of disease, we do uh, risk modification and risk management for long-term disease, and we do a, a few longevity therapies, the things that have some decent research behind them. This video is not that. This video is not advanced therapies. This video is about the basic principles to a healthy and happy life. For some of you, it's going to seem super basic, and for others, it will be a, a, a gentle reminder to get back on the path uh, to, to move towards a healthy and happy life and to maintain a healthy and happy life if you're already there. So the three first principles that I like to teach in the prevention of disease uh, and in the, the promotion of a healthy and happy life are proper nutrition, exercise, and sleep. Now, it seems super basic, but the reason it's, it's brought up over and over is because they are so inf effective. We know that having a healthy diet can be uh, extremely beneficial to a long, healthy, and happy life. We know that nutrition impacts mood. We know that nutrition impacts your quality of life and how you feel during the course of the day. It can even impact your relationships. If, you're, if your energy is low and your mood is low because you eat Im improperly, your relationships can suffer because you can't give, you can't be in the moment. Um, second on the list is exercise. We know that exercise is incredibly good for uh, bone strength, it's very good for brain function, and it's also very good for mood. These are three core uh, factors for the uh, promotion of a healthy, long life. So we need to be moving our bodies often, every day if you can. Number three is sleep. If we look at the pillars of, of health, um, often sleep will be included and recent research and recent advancements in, in uh, the assessments of the people who live the longest uh, shows that sleep is incredibly important for a long, healthy and happy life. When you sleep well, you know you feel well. When, if, you, if you sleep well and you still don't feel well, then that's a reason to be assessed. We know that sleep is so incredibly important for, again, mood, healing, immune function, people who don't sleep well um, usually have low immunity. So sleep is right up there in line with diet and exercise in terms of living a long, healthy, and happy life. Now, the wild cards are number four and five. Number four on my list is having something in your life that you're passionate about some practice, some piece of work, some piece of activity, something that you participate in that you have passion for, something that makes life worth living. Now, this can change every three to four years. It doesn't have to be a lifelong passion. Uh, you can develop new passions when you need, but there has to be something at all times that you are on fire about, that you need to be contributing positively to, that you need to be moving forward in your life. For some people that's you know fitness routines, for some people it's their work, for some people it's supporting their family in a certain way, for some people it's um, you know volunteer work, it's, it's, it can be a range of things, but the key term here is passion, something that you are just lit up about all the time, that you are, you are focused on either improving or contributing to. I think it's important. We know that when people don't have something they're passionate about, when they don't have that fire in their belly about something, it's very, it's much easier to slip into a depression. It's much easier to not contribute to those first three pillars, to, to not uh, want to sleep or want to eat healthy or want to exercise. And then when there is a passion, we know that people will focus on those first three pillars because they want to be optimized so they can contribute to their passion. So I think passion needs to be on the list. And number five, the second wild card, I would say as uh, one of the essentials to a healthy, long, uh, and happy life would be to have a, a, a network, a social network, or a family network, or some relationship that is meaningful for you that you can contribute to. We know that when we, when we give to others, we often feel fulfilled. We often feel better ourselves. And that that positive emotion that positive feedback we get when we give to others is essential for a healthy life now for most people that's the family that's having a a strong healthy uh, positive relationship with your family having 
uh, a, a core group of people, it couldn't only be one person, it could just be your spouse, that you want to give back to, that you want to help succeed in their life. For some who don't have families or don't have social networks, they, they begin coaching or they take on a diff- they try to find a different network, and that's okay too. But I think there needs to be meaningful relationships to live a long, healthy, and happy life. Um, and I think that this really becomes apparent. I'm a, I'm a new dad. I've got, I've got a young baby and another one on the way. And this has, this fifth pillar, I don't think could have been left out. Obviously, um, it, things change when you have a child. Things, certain things become more meaningful. But, you know, I felt it before as well. Um, when I, uh, my wife, my wife and I have been together for a very long time and just knowing that you're helping someone succeed or you're there for them and she's there for me, um, I think contributes positively to health. It contributes obviously to stress reduction. It contributes to, um, happiness and mood overall, but it can also contribute to nutrition and exercise because when you have this network of people that you care for and you want to contribute to, you want to eat well with them. You want to exercise with them. You want to laugh with them. And all of these things together round out the five elements of a healthy, long, happy life. And I really wanted to do this video today to highlight those elements because I feel like sometimes it's easy to forget about them. I once read a story, I think it was in a, in a business journal that was speaking about how you could only have four. You could only pick from, um, I think it was sleep, friends, family, and work. and I sort of still agree with that. You can only really optimize three of those things, but in terms of living healthy and happy, you don't really need to optimize all things. You need to have a touch of passion, a touch of, okay, I'm going to contribute positively to this great relationship that I have. You need a touch of nutrition. You need to eat healthy most times. You need to sleep uh, a proper number of hours and deep enough most times, and you need to move your body enough to maintain health. So. It's not about optimizing five separate things. It's about contributing positively to these five separate things that will promote a long, healthy, and happy life. That's the daily vlog for today. If you like this content, if you want more of this, please hit that that subscribe button and uh, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day.